in my series of uh, videos about working with and learning to use GIMP. My name is Rob and this one is all about layer modes. Now the most important thing I believe that you should know about layer modes is that you don't have to know everything about layer modes. That's the most important thing. You don't have to know everything. So armed with that piece of information you can now relax and realize that you can find out as much or as little as you want about layer modes. The more you know, the more you'll get out of GIMP. But on the other hand, not knowing an awful lot about layer modes won't hold you back in working with GIMP. Okay, so uh, I have an, an image here. It doesn't matter what it is at the moment. Uh, if you concentrate on the layers dialog over here on the right you can see that it's composed of four layers I've got one of them switched off at the moment switch it on switch it off above this is this drop down mode it's the layer mode as you can see there are quite a lot of items on that list and they are all different layer modes they kind of group together um, into groups where they're similar they have tried to do that but uh, basically you in order to understand what each of these layer modes does you have to you, you either have to read the documentation or experiment for yourself or some combination of that two of those two but in essence what a layer mode does is this if I select uh, one of the layers in my image this one here and I switch the mode to normal which is the usual which is the default mode for every layer when you add a layer or you, um, you you're uh, inserting a new layer you can see that the image on that layer simply covers all the images on the layers behind if I switch the layer mode to burn then you can see that that what we're looking at is transformed although it hasn't changed anything in this particular layer or indeed the layers behind the only thing that has changed is how we see the end product and the and how we see the end product it differs depending on what is in the layer on top and what is on the layer below as you can see okay so let's have a look at what the GIMP documentation says about the burn layer mode layer mode burn it says burn mode inverts, inverts the pixel value of the lower layer multiplies it by 256 divides that by 1 plus the pixel value of the upper layer then inverts the result it tends to make the image darker somewhat similar to multiply mode and then it gives you the equation now it does give you some helpful examples with each of the layer modes it tries to describe to you but I found that it's easier to understand layer modes if you experiment for yourself. Besides anything else there are so many different layer modes and so many different ways that the mode affect the image depending on what is above and below that it's better to experiment for yourself using some basic tools um, so you'll be able to see for yourself what the different effects are and of course you can do that in combination with reading the descriptions that are there on the GIMP documentation website which I'll put a link to in the show notes so if you want a way of exploring different layer modes then I think this is probably as good a way as any I have uh, an image here and on the back on the background 
well I have, I've got the background switched off but I have a layer with just these three squares a gradation from black to white a gradation from uh, red to white green to white so that so that I've got all the colors um, and also transparency then I've got a layer with um, just three colored balls red green blue and then I've got a layer with a picture in this case it's my logo but it can be anything anything you like because in GIMP we can move layers around then this gives us an opportunity to experiment with layer modes by selecting the layer use the move tool select the layer make sure it's on there uh, if you're gonna make sure it's on pick a layer or guide then you're gonna make sure you actually click the layer or you can select uh, just move the active layer in which case you have to make sure that the layer is selected here the one that you want to move either way you can move it around to the different areas of the image behind to see how the effect comes through from the three colored box and then you can change the mode if I change the mode on this one to difference you can see what that does to the colors now you can you can do this this exercise in combination with reading the documentation on the GIMP docs website and the reason I think that that's a good approach is if, is if you look at that documentation it's very technical very good and very technical but it can sometimes be a little bit blinding it blinded with science blinded with mathematics in this case whereas it's good to have some way of seeing what that description equates to in reality and I think this is probably as good a way as any you can do that with these three colored balls or if I select this layer which is just a picture then you can see the effect I've got that on burn if I switch that to I don't know let's go for value an entirely different effect now another nice thing about doing this is while you're doing this you might actually get some inspiration for things that you might want to create okay that's all I have to tell you about layer modes in this video uh, if you want to make a test image similar to the one I've been using here then I'm gonna post another video uh, right after this one um, which shows you how to do that so look out for that in the playlist otherwise thanks for watching